Welcome back to the 25 Days of Christmas. This is our last day. Thank you for coming and uh, enjoying these stories all 25 days. Let's get into this last story. Christmas Day, you know. Dear children, is Christ Day. Christ's birthday, and I want to tell you why we love it so much and why we try to make everyone happy when it comes each year. A long, long time ago, more than 1800 years, the baby Christ was born on Christmas Day. A baby so wonderful and so beautiful, who grew up to be a man so wise, so good, so patient and sweet that every year the people who know him love him better and better and are more and more glad when his birthday comes yet again. You see that he must have been very good and wonderful for the people have always remembered his birthday and kept it lovingly for 1800 years. He was born long years ago in a land far away, far across the seas. Before the baby Christ was born, Mary, his mother, had to make a long journey with her husband Joseph. They made this journey to be taxed and, and, or counted, for in those days this could not be done in the town where people happened to live, but they must be numbered in the place where they were born. In a far off time when the only way of traveling was on a horse or a camel or a good patient donkey, camels and horses cost a great deal of money and Mary was very poor. So she rode on a quiet, safe donkey while Joseph walked by her side leading him and leaning on his stick. Mary was very young and beautiful, I think, but Joseph was a great deal older than she. People nowadays dress in those distant countries just as they did many years ago. So we know that Mary must have worn a long, thick dress falling over her heavy folds and that she had a soft white veil over her head and neck and across her face. Mary lived in Nazareth, and the journey that they were making to Bethlehem was many miles away. They were a long traveling, long time traveling, I am sure. The donkeys are slow, though they are careful, and Mary must have been very tired when they came to the end of their journey. They traveled all day, and it was almost dark when they came near to Bethlehem, to the town where baby Christ was to be born. There was, a, there was the place they were to stay, a kind of inn or lodging house, but not all like those that you know about. They have them today in that far off country, just as they built them so many years ago. It was a low, flat roofed stone building with no windows and only a large door. They were so nicely furnished, there were no nicely furnished bedrooms inside and no soft white beds for the tired travelers. They were only paces to be built in the stones of the wall, like, like berths of steamboats nowadays. Each traveler brought their own bedding. No pretty garden was in front of the inn, for the road ran close to the very door, so that its, dusty, so that its dust lay upon its door sill. All around the house to a side, to the high and rocky hill, a heavy stone fence was built, so that all the people and the animals inside might be kept safe. Mary and Joseph could not get very near the inn, for the whole road in front was filled with camels and donkeys, sheep and cows, while many great men were going to and fro, taking care of the animals. Some of the people had come to Bethlehem to pay their taxes, as Mary and Joseph had done. Others were staying for the night on their way to Jerusalem, a large city a little further on. The yard was filled, too, with camels and sheep and men lying on the ground beside them, resting and watching them keeping them safe. The inn was so full and the yard was so full of people that there was no room for anyone else, and the keeper had to take Joseph to Mary through the house and back on the high hill where they found another place that was used for a stable. This had only one, only a door in front. The deep caves were behind, stretching far into the rocks. This was the spot where Christ was born. Think of how poor the place but Mary was so glad to be there after all. When the Christ child came, he was like other babies and had so lately come from heaven that he was happy everywhere. There were mangers all around the cave where the cattle and sheep were fed and great heaps of hay and straw were lying on the floor. Then I think there were even brown-eyed cows and oxen there, quiet, woolly sheep, and perhaps even some dogs that had taken that had come in to take care of the sheep. 
And there in the cave, by and by, the wonderful baby came. They wrapped him up and laid him in a manger. All the stars in the sky shone brightly, for they knew the Christ child was born, and the angels in heaven sang together with joy. The angels knew about the lovely child, and they were glad that he had come to help the people on earth to be good. There lay the beautiful baby with a manger for his bed and oxen and sheep sleeping quietly around him. His mother watched him and loved him, and by and by many people came to see him, for they had heard that a wonderful child was to be born in Bethlehem. All around the people, all the people in the inn visited him, and even the shepherds left their flocks in the fields and sought the child and his mother. But the baby was very tiny and could not talk any more than any other tiny child. So he lay in his mother's lap or in the manger and only looked at the people. So after they had seen him and loved him, they went away. After a time, the baby had grown larger and Mary took him back to Nazareth where he lived there and grew up. He grew up to be a sweet, wise, loving boy, such a tender, helpful man, and he said so many good and beautiful things that everyone who knew him loved him. Many of the things he said are in the Bible, you know, and a great many beautiful stories of the things he used to do while he was on this earth. He loved little children like you very much, and often used to take them up in his arms and talk to them. And this is the reason we have Christmas so Day so much. And try to, take, try to make everybody happy when it comes around each year. The reason, because Christ, who was born on Christmas Day, has helped us to be good to so many, many times. And because he was the best Christmas present the world had ever had. Nora A. Smith. Thank you for uh, coming and watching all the 25 days of Christmas. And I ask that you keep watching ACTV and uh, that you enjoy this Christmas story and that you keep Christ in Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas. God bless you.